Mind me, just resting my head in the snow while I get ready to record. The neck is completely broken. It's only held in place by the soft tissue. Hey, Ivan. Shovel time. Poor guy. He looks kind of disheveled. Okay, I gotta tell you, if I had to, I'd rather fight with a shovel than with a pickaxe. The shovel gives you way more reach. It is way lighter. You can deliver blunt strikes with it. You can sort of cut with the edge. You can even stab with it. The pickaxe, on the other hand, is short and heavy. I mean, not heavy for a tool, but very heavy for a weapon. And it's intended to be swung at a fairly large area and definitely not at a moving target. So if you miss with this, it's gonna take you way too long to recover, depending on your strength, to be fair. But this is so much momentum, you can't just stop it. Basically, you'd have to let the ground stop it and then wrench it back out and, and come back for the other swing. Either that, or in order to get more control, you have to spread the hand so far that now <laughs> you are basically at grappling distance. Now this way, yeah, this way you can you can uh, attack more quickly because now you've shortened the lever. It's way more manageable that way. This is punching reach, almost. It's knife reach. But this is, is extremely hard to control. It, it's hard to hit with accurately and it's it takes a long time to recover from. So this would be a terrible, terrible weapon in a fight. Um, this is one of the few cases where I'm not convinced that having this would be better than being unarmed. Because if you have this thing and you dodge this, your opponent dodges this one uh, telegraphed, inaccurate, clumsy swing, and then closes in and grapples you to the ground, you're probably screwed. And I imagine there are probably some super buff miners who are like, what's your problem, bro? Do you even lift a swing this all day? No problem. Well, imagine you had practice with a sword eight hours a day for however long you've been doing mining. Imagine how good you would be with a sword and how dangerous you would be compared to this. Also, this is not very pointed. Pickaxe isn't supposed to be because it hits hard material all the time. You, you can't afford a very sharp point on this because it would get damaged and be useless immediately. And this is so rounded that it can actually deflect and hit something and just deflect off. As much as I'd like to hit him square in the face, it's not gonna do anything because at this point, this is so wobbly that there's just not enough resistance to, to do anything. So really the only thing I can do is smash it straight down. Yeah, like that.
Of course, the good thing about having so much mass here is that you don't need to put much power into it. Like you just basically do a little more than let it fall and it'll do something. So when it does hit, it's absolutely devastating. No big surprise there, but it doesn't help you if you don't hit. It sucks <laughs> for anything other than its intended purpose. Who would have guessed, right? If you haven't seen it before, I've got an Amazon store where I list certain things that I personally recommend, like swords, knives, video and audio gear, tools, etc. And I'll keep adding new stuff and comments. The link is down below.